Magandang lunes sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang Monday edition ng the Stock Market Today. May 17, 2021. Ako po si Benji Chidoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. And uh, I do this report every day which I started last August, last year. And I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. And if you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, kung meron po kayong uh, stocks in mind na gusto nyo pa-review, pakicomment lang po sa comment box and I will prioritize. North Luzon Expressway toll fees po ang ating balita. Kasama na po ang resulta sa, sa trading or ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw. May 17, Monday, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. From the business world, NLEX toll fees to increase on May 18. Motorists using the North Expressway or NLEX will pay higher toll fees starting Tuesday, May 18, that's tomorrow, the tollway operator said over the weekend. NLEX Corp said in a statement the toll increase will take effect at 12.01 a.m. on May 18. An additional 2 pesos for Class 1 vehicles or ordinary cars, value-added tax included, using open system, where a flat rate is charged will be collected. Quezon City, Calocan City, Valenzuela City, Malabon City, Navata City, Mekawayan City, and Marilao, Bulacan are all part of the open system. The closed system is between Bukao, Bulacan, and Mabalakat City, Pampanga, according to the company. For the entire NLEX journey end-to-end, -end, Class 1 vehicles will pay an additional 6 pesos, the company added. For Class 2 vehicles like buses and small trucks, an additional 3 pesos will be collected in the NLEX open system, while an additional 4 pesos will be collected for large, large trucks or Class 3 vehicles. In summary, motorists traveling end-to-end -end between Metro Manila and Mabalakat City, Pampanga will be charged an additional 6 pesos, 14 pesos and 16 pesos respectively depending on their vehicle class, the company said. NLEX Corp also said the increase is part of the approved periodic adjustments due in 2012 and 2014. The TRB or Toll Regulatory Board said NLEX agreed to implement the, the increase on a staggered basis to cushion the impact of the adjustments, it noted. Now, may I share with you the commentary of BDO Nomura on the same news. So, ang sabi niya dito, we have already factored in this toll rate increase into our MPI estimates. The NLEX Corporation is part of the Metro Pacific conglomerate. So, MPI yung kanyang, um, ang kanyang rating, ano? Toll roads accounted for 21% of the conglomerate's first quarter 2021 operating income and we expect toll rate increases or to compound with recovering volume as quarantine measures are eased. We continue to highlight the stocks under valuation at a, ninth or at a 59% discount to net asset value and we reiterate our buy recommendation. So if you'll take a look at the target price of BDO Nomura on Metro Pacific, its target price is 5 pesos and 30 centavos. At yung current price niya, at least as of yesterday, mamaya rinibihin natin Metro Pacific, pero yesterday it closed at uh, 366, or last Friday it closed at 366, or an upside of uh, about roughly 45 percent so that's uh, a good investment if you wanted to uh, buy your stocks metro pacific has a uh, an upside of about 
45% based on Friday's uh, closing price. So let's now take a look at uh, what happened to our Philippine Stock Exchange Index. It gained 14.22 points or 0.23% to end at 6283.58. It's a green candlestick because the closing price of 6283 is higher than the opening price of uh, 6226.83. On the market summary, 99 companies declined, 85 advanced, while 58 remained unchanged. The All Share Index gained 0.27%. However, the sectoral indices ended mixed. The industrials, mining, properties, and services were in the green led by properties at 3.61% up. The financials and holding companies were down. The holding companies lost 1.3%. On the most active stocks, we will be reviewing the top 10, including uh, Metro Pacific. So we'll be reviewing um, Ali, Dito, BDO, ASEN, URC, SM, Ayala Corporation, MEG, and let's include Pure Gold. So let's now go to Metro Pacific, MPI. Oi, not bouncy MPI. It had a bounce with uh, support nasa 350 to 360 po yung support La, uh, last friday it touched that uh, level kasi the low of last friday it had a long week with a low of uh, 356 now 355 is uh, the support or 350 to 360 po on support so it had a bounce today and gaining 19 centavos or 5.19 but the sentiment is still bearish since our moving averages you exponential po are still above the closing price of the stock at three of 385 and then ali i hope my bounce on ali yes the bounce yeah, no? last friday it was at 3022 almost oversold but it had a 1 peso 75 centavo increase or a 5.61% up. And it is now above our 20 day exponential moving averages, average, meaning that uh, it is an indicator that the trend is bullish on the short term. However, the 50 and 100 day exponential moving average is still above the closing price which I would say is uh, generally it's bearish. So in the meantime, the nearest resistance would be at 35, 60 to 35, 70. The nearest support is here, nasa 3150 to 3160 po, ang nearest support of Ali. And then Dito. Okay, Dito further declined, 89 centavos down to end at 81.10. Earnings ba? It is down at 305.35%. Hindi maganda po yung earnings ni Dito dahil startup lang po siya. No? In the meantime, the 810 price is already support. But the sentiment of Dito is bearish. However, the RSI... The RSI is at 22.74, meaning it is already oversold. Ang ibig pong sabihin niyan is that anytime soon, the stock price may reverse in trend. So, maaring tumaas ng po yan anytime since the RSI is telling us that the stock is already oversold. Pagka lower po than 30 yung RSI, oversold na po yung stock. If it is over 70, the RSI is over 70, then you can say that the stock is overbought. And therefore, in bis na pataas yung stock, maaari mag-reverse na po pababa. In this case, it is oversold. Since bumababa yung stock, maaaring tumaas na po in the coming days. After dito, video. BDO is another stock that is sideways. Yeah, 
moving sideways bucket because it is uh, the, our indicators are piercing through the candlesticks with the closing price at 105.90 so yung ating support level is at 101 100 to 101 pound support level while the resistance level is uh, 110 to 115 po yung nearest resistance niya pero yung may sub resistance po tayo na 106 to 107 yan po basically it's moving sideways and then ASEN okay ASEN also moving sideways gain 21 centavos at 7.11 not much so if we will uh, take a look at the resistance it's 780 support is uh, let's say it's at uh, the 100 day exponential which is at 6.60 yun po yung support level the ASIN URC I think bumaba na naman tong si URC no it had a doji pataasa sana but uh, it is uh, in general it is uh, bullish to sideways since our 20 and 50 day exponential moving average are under the closing price of today so it's bullish to sideways po ang kanyang movement with resistance here at 140.60 yung nearest resistance po ni universal rubina bullish to sideways po ang kanyang movement and then SM, SM, ano ito, mukhang nag-profit taking siya. It had a promising candlestick last Friday, but it had a lower candlestick. In fact, it is a red candlestick. It went back to the 930 level, but it's holding support. Here at 918 to, 9, 918 to 920 po ang support level ni SM with a bearish sentiment and then Ayala Corporation okay Ayala Corporation and then with the doji still bearish as our closing price are under our three moving averages the RSI is bearish at 40 and then Meg Meg had a slight recovery today from a down a dip last Friday which closed at 260 it's now at 272 so yung kanyang next support level if it will continue to move down is at 250 pero uh, observahan lang po natin to hopefully po mag reverse yung trend or baka nagko-consolidate lang po si Meg with a bearish sentiment then after Meg, Pure Gold, one of my favorite stocks. Yeah, nag recover siya. There is a recovery because it is already oversold. And sabi ko na last Friday, abangan po natin sa Monday, baka mag-recover po yung stock. And it did indeed recovered, gaining 1 peso and 70 centavos or 5.37% up. So it um, held on support. And support is uh, here at 31.80 to 31.90. The next support level is actually here at uh, 29.70 to 29.80. But hopefully the stock will recover as we had a nice green candlestick today. Actually, ang totoong pressure niya based on fundamentals is at 54. So, if you'll see yung upside niya, talagang napakalaki, oh. Ito, nung August, yan, yan yung pinakamataas niya, eh. Nasa 51 or 52. I think it reached 54 here. So, yun po yung, based on fundamentals, ang presyo, ang tunay na presyo ni Pure Gold. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market, May 17, Monday. Ito po ang yung lingkod, Benji Chadora, reminding you, Mag-ingat sa COVID at sa mga scam. An investment in knowledge, 
pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Maraming pong salamat sa mga views. I was surprised because I had a lot of views over the weekend. Mga more than 200 po ang naging views ko. At maraming pong salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. And uh, sana'y magkita-kita po tayo muli. God bless and bye for now.